Let's celebrate. It's another Dave Day here on Community NEPA News. Ken Kerr with Standard Speaker Sports Editor Dave Sieben. Dave, spring sports starting. It's very exciting time of year. Penn State Hazleton, the softball team. Dave, we have their a feature story on them running all week on SSP TV News. They took on the Czech Republic in, a, in an exhibition game while they were down in Florida. But they have a player in Sam Varela who very... Well, I mean, she could possibly, Dave, break almost every offensive record, almost all the pitching records at, at Penn State Hazleton. I asked her about that, and I also asked her, you know, sometimes you watch a movie or you watch a TV show and you hope all the cast are really friends, you know, off the set as well. I asked her about her relationship with women's basketball standout at Penn State Hazleton, Mackenzie Brutzman. You're just making the best of my last season. You can't go out there thinking about it because then you're just going to try too hard. But, yeah, I mean, it's definitely in reach, but I just can't, like, think about that in the back of my head. But there was Mackenzie Protzman who had such a phenomenal women's basketball season and she's getting ready. It was her last year too, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Do you two talk? Are you guys ever like, Oh my God, me and her, her are so close. Really? Oh, yeah, she's one of my really good friends and she did a heck of a job this season. Is it friendship because, I mean, I think people look at it and they think, oh, they, these are the two women's athletes I think of at Penn State Hazelton. What made you guys really click? Uh, we've been friends since freshman year. We had our first class together, and then ever since then, we've we've been pretty close. And we played together last season, and that's where we really got really close. So it should be an exciting season up there at High Acres. And Dave, one of the softball players told me they go to the Hazelton Area Recreation Program to train with Russ Kanzler, and that he's always there, basically lives there, always helping athletes. You did a great piece with Russ recently talking about his his new position as head coach for the Hazleton Area High School baseball team and you've been covering him for years. What was it like talking to him in this dynamic? Did you learn anything new this time around? Like I said, you've been covering him for a while now. No, there's nothing new about Russ. <laughs> Russ has been the same old, same person that he's been since I started covering him in Little League. Uh, you know, always, uh, you know, beyond his years, his maturity level, uh, always, you know, uh, I, I have to think back to when he first started calling me Dave because uh, there, you know, he was calling Mr. Seaman uh, maybe up until he started his minor league career in the or, or a Cubs or Rays organization and uh, you know it's just a, been a gentleman through the years but he's always had his focus on what he wanted to do and that was to become a big league ball player and that's exactly what he did I mean it took a long time for him to get there he wasn't there relatively long but he got that opportunity and it's because of his hard work and his uh, you know his, his ability to put uh, adversity be behind him and learn from adversity and uh, those are lessons he's passing on to his players at Hazleton area now. Well, you'll have to read Mr. Seaman's entire article at standardspeaker.com. And Dave, finally, I wanted to hit on Russ. He had some interesting comments about um, high school sports. It's you know, it's the only time you get a chance to play. You know, high school sports is when you're in high school, obviously. Uh, you know, you, you get to do it with your friends, people that you've grown up with. And uh, why shouldn't you make that the most of your opportunity? Well, there are other uh, factors now that... Uh, come into play. You know, there are kids that play travel baseball and they play in the summer, you know, out of town uh, where they're, you know, playing against teams that you don't know where they're from. But uh, on the high school level, like Russ says, you're, you're able to play uh, with, with your friends, uh, your classmates, uh, people you grew up with all your life. Now you have an opportunity to, to, to bond together, to, to hone your skills. And when you get together and uh, try to do great things against teams that uh, are doing the same thing, uh, communities like Hazleton, uh, Hazleton it's a big area, but uh, you have all these little leagues coming together where they're all stars at one level or another or different towns. Uh, but at Hazleton area, we're fortunate enough where all these kids could come together and let's bond, let's see how we can play, compete against the best players from the Wyoming Valley or, or the Scranton area or Williamsport to, to, for a chance to play in the state tournament. And uh, uh, that's what high school sports should be all about. And Dave, you and Steve Stallone, um, time and time again, you know, it's very challenging when someone in the area passes away in, uh, in athletics and, and you have to sum up their lives basically in a few paragraphs in a story. And you guys did that with um, John Yacino. And yeah, you have to structure your story. And I thought it was very interesting. You started with a quote from Ron Marchetti, who um, tribute, does a tribute to John this week on um, on SSP TV News. But you started with him saying that he, Ron Marchetti thinks he's the second best athlete in the area. And John Yacino taking some exceptions to that, saying, you know, I, I think I might, might be the best, Ronnie. And, and why did you choose to start there? Uh, just It just shows you his competitive nature. John Yacino was always one. He was, uh, you know, to some people it might have been come off as, you know, a little braggadocio or, uh, you know, a little bit of uh, arrogance to him. And uh, certainly John was uh, somebody he had to get used to uh, interviewing. It, it was something we weren't used to in this area. But, you know, he often backed it up, especially as a player. Uh, I, I didn't see him as a player, but I've heard stories from my father and other people who watched him play, including Ron Marchetti, who said he was definitely one of the best around, uh, one of the fastest running backs, most elusive running backs. And uh, uh, what Ron said, too, made uh, you know, sense 
talking about his greatness was like how endurable he was. You know, as a player, his endurance was incredible. And uh, he carried that on. You know, he played four sports. He didn't really get a break during the school season. Then he went on to the University of Pittsburgh, had a great career there, and uh, had a tryout with the New York Giants in the NFL. Didn't make it, but he uh, turned uh, that into a successful coaching career from that point. And, uh, you know, uh, didn't have as much success in this area as far as coaching goes, but uh, he definitely left an impact. He talked to the people he coached, and uh, they were all glad that they had a chance to play for him. Well, Dave Seaman, you can read his work in the Standard Speaker.